SpaceX is moving quickly after the highly successful Starship Flight 5, which occurred less than two weeks ago. The company is already gearing up for its sixth Starship test flight, currently scheduled for November 2024. This mission will feature Super Heavy Booster 13 paired with Ship 31. Both components are nearing completion at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas, with final preparations like static fire tests expected soon. What makes this even more exciting is that SpaceX has already taken significant steps to get the new booster ready for launch. Just days after returning from the previous mission, the company rolled out Booster 13 for testing. In this video, we'll explore all the latest updates and how these rapid developments are pushing SpaceX closer to achieving full reusability. Before we dive deeper into these fascinating developments, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Flight 5, which took place in October 2024, was notable for SpaceX's achievement in catching the booster midair using the chopsticks. This was a groundbreaking moment for SpaceX's goal of making its rockets fully reusable. The booster separated from the Starship and executed a controlled descent back to the launch site, where it was caught, avoiding an ocean splashdown. The improvements made to Starship ahead of Flight 5 were significant. The entire heat shield was overhauled with newer tiles and an additional protective layer. These modifications were essential in protecting the spacecraft during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, reducing damage compared to previous flights. Flight 5 showed that the Starship system is becoming increasingly reliable with each launch. As SpaceX looks toward Flight 6, SpaceX's next Starship flight, Flight 6, has two possible directions. The first option is to conduct the flight by the end of 2024, following a similar plan to Flight 5, where the ship would land in the ocean. This would allow SpaceX to continue testing without further delays and gather additional data before attempting a more complex ship recovery using their chopsticks catching system. The second option is to delay Flight 6 into 2025, which would allow time for SpaceX to integrate the full recovery system for both the booster and the upper stage, enabling a full mid-air catch. This would be a significant step towards achieving full reusability, a long-term goal that SpaceX aims to accomplish. If successful, the booster and the ship would be caught mid-air by the chopstick system, which was first used successfully in Flight 5 to recover the Super Heavy booster. Although SpaceX is preparing for its sixth Starship test flight, there are still important issues to address before the rocket is ready for launch. While Flight 5 was a major success, with the Super Heavy booster caught mid-air by the chopsticks arms, there were some problems with the Starship upper stage during its splashdown in the ocean. Shortly after landing in the Indian Ocean, the ship exploded, showing that further improvements are needed to achieve a completely safe and controlled recovery. One of the key areas requiring upgrades is the heat shield. Despite significant work on the shield prior to Flight 5, which included replacing large portions of the tiles and improving the thermal protection system, the heat shield still faced challenges. The extreme temperatures experienced during re-entry caused some damage to the heat shield tiles, though it performed much better compared to previous flights. The grid fins, which help steer the booster during descent, also played a crucial role but their performance will need further optimization to ensure smoother recovery. Another issue occurred with the ship's belly flop maneuver. While this maneuver helped slow the spacecraft's descent, the thrusters and landing systems were not sufficient to prevent the explosion upon splashdown. Although the splashdown itself was successful, SpaceX will need to improve both the recovery systems and the overall stability of the vehicle to prevent a repeat of the explosion. By addressing these issues, SpaceX aims to ensure that future flights, including Flight 6, will move closer to the goal of full reusability. However, there is one big problem. In 2024, SpaceX has experienced numerous delays, mainly due to regulatory challenges imposed by the Federal Aviation Administration. These delays have affected both the Falcon 9 and Starship test flights. For example, the Falcon 9 was grounded twice this year, with the first grounding in July after the upper stage malfunctioned during a Starlink mission, leading to the loss of 20 satellites. 
The Federal Aviation Administration required an investigation, which caused a 15-day delay before flights resumed. A second grounding occurred in August, when a Falcon 9 booster failed to land properly on a drone ship and was destroyed, prompting another FAA review. Starship flights have faced even more significant delays. SpaceX was ready to launch the Starship test flights months earlier, but the FAA required extensive environmental reviews and regulatory approvals, delaying each of the five flights by several months. These regulatory delays have been a source of frustration for SpaceX. Musk has openly criticized the FAA for slowing down the pace of innovation, even offering to assist the agency in hiring more staff to help speed up their licensing process. Despite these past delays, SpaceX received approval for both Starship Flight 5 and Flight 6 under the same FAA license. This is a departure from the previous process, where each flight required separate approval, causing delays. As a result, SpaceX is now in a position to launch Flight 6 without further regulatory hurdles as soon as they are ready. These test flights are not only crucial for SpaceX's plans to eventually send humans to Mars, but they are also essential for NASA's Artemis program. NASA has selected Starship as the lunar lander for its upcoming missions, with plans to land astronauts on the moon by 2026. Each of these test flights serves as a key step in ensuring the spacecraft is ready for crewed missions beyond Earth. While SpaceX is advancing rapidly in the space industry, companies like Blue Origin are facing significant challenges. For years, Blue Origin has promised to launch its new Glenn rocket, a direct competitor to SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy. But those plans have continually been delayed. Initially, New Glenn's first test flight was expected around 2020, but it has now been pushed to late 2024. Even though Blue Origin had targeted the same time frame as Starship Flight 5 for New Glenn's test launch, almost two weeks have passed since SpaceX's successful launch, and Blue Origin has yet to fly. One of the key reasons for Blue Origin's slow progress is the development and testing of its BE-4 engines, which power New Glenn and the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. These engines have faced numerous delays and technical challenges, pushing back Blue Origin's launch timeline. On top of that, while SpaceX has been continuously launching rockets, Blue Origin's primary revenue-generating activity has been space tourism through their New Shepard suborbital rocket, which offers limited commercial viability compared to SpaceX's expansive satellite launches and NASA contracts. In response to these financial struggles, Jeff Bezos has had to step in multiple times, selling billions of dollars worth of Amazon stock to fund Blue Origin's operations. Since 2017, Bezos has reportedly been pouring $1 billion per year into the company to keep it alive. Despite having a workforce close to SpaceX's size, Blue Origin's progress has lagged significantly behind, and the company has yet to generate the kind of revenue needed to sustain itself without external support. Beyond technical delays, Blue Origin has also faced criticism for seemingly following SpaceX's blueprint in various areas. For example, Blue Origin's Project Kuiper aims to establish a satellite internet service similar to SpaceX's Starlink. Additionally, New Glenn's design bears a resemblance to SpaceX's reusability goals, aiming to recover the first stage on a sea platform, much like Falcon 9 and Super Heavy. Check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.